Alrighty. So, hi Bob. Um, my name is Cassandra. I'm going to be your emergency um, responder here. I'm actually trained to um, go ahead and care for your wound here. Do I have your consent to actually care for your wound today? Yes, ma'am. Okay, awesome. Okay, so um, you guys, my first step here is going to be actually to um, put on some latex-free gloves here. So I have these gloves on. Um, my next step is actually going to be to um, stop the external bleeding. So I'm actually going to apply some dressings here to the wound, okay? And this is from my first aid kit that I do have here. It has all types of little goodies in here um, for me to care for Bob's wound. I have band-aids um, and I also have the, the packets here. So the, the bandages here as well and um, the dressings, excuse me. So I'm actually going to apply these to Bob's wound and um, I'm going to apply as much pressure as I can here. So um, here we go. So we're going to apply pressure to the wound here. I'm going to try to stop all the bleeding that I can. Okay, we're going to apply as much pressure as we can here. And I'm going to firmly press against the wound. Um, and my third step is going to be to apply my, pe my pressure bandage. This is going to actually apply more pressure to the wound and um, actually firmly hold it even more than what I am doing here. So um, before I go ahead and do that, I'm going to check for any um, any uh, swelling or anything that's that's around the wound. Um, I'm going to check for filling and also warmth here. So I'm going to check around here before I go ahead and apply my roller bandage. Alrighty, Bob, can you go ahead and continue to? Um, Hold our dressings here while I go ahead and get the roller bandage ready. Alrighty. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it here. Let me press. Alrighty, try to continue to press around it. pressure bandage is actually on I'm going to actually check for any swel swollenness um, I'm going to ask Bob as well also do he feel any warm or tingling sensation do you Bob no okay great that's awesome okay and now I'm actually going to um, Check for shock. Um, Bob doesn't seem like he has any shock right now. He seems like he's doing pretty fine. Um, I'm going to actually remove my gloves now and wash my hands. Um, I'm going to continue to watch Bob. I'm going to continue to actually look at his wound and see if it's any more um, excessive bleeding. Because if so, I'm actually going to go ahead and call 911. Um... I do also see that Bob has a condition that is actually distal to his injury here. So um, I actually have a broccoli frozen vegetable pack that I'm actually going to use to apply to his bruise here. So therefore it can stop the swelling. 
um, and bring it down to a minimum here. But first, before, I'm going to actually apply a um, thin towel. So, apply that towel to the bruise here. So, Bob, if you want to hold the towel for me, as well as the vegetable pack. And I can also get you a um, another towel here to hold as well. There you go. You can hold it. Just in case it's too cold. Alrighty, and I'm going to um, actually have Bob apply this uh, frozen uh, pack for about 20 minutes. Um, hopefully, he can stand it that long. If not, we'll uh, try to at least hold it there for at least 10 minutes um and i'm going to actually reapply every um 20 minutes to get that um swelling down um i'm going to try to actually elevate the um the injury as well to see if that could stop the injury from um swelling and bruising um is there any pain are you feeling any pain Okay, so everything is fine. So um, we can actually continue to just hold the ice pack down here because Bob was actually complaining about uh, feeling uh, some some pain down here. All righty, and um, that's about it. Um, Hopefully, Bob is going to do extremely well, and um, that's about it. We're done. Thanks for watching.